All right, so while I was doing a video on the pokeweed, I figured I'd do a video on this too. This is called, what I just pulled out of the ground. This is called bindweed. This is not morning glory. It's probably in the morning glory family, but most of you probably know what this is or you have seen it and you know the problems of it. There are other people out there that don't know what this is and they should be forewarned about it because this is an extremely invasive species. If you see this, you have to go to every measure possible to eradicate it. Like it's starting to grow around here. I am going to make every effort in the, uh, that I have to simply eradicate it the best of my ability. It does pop up around different areas of my yard and I do try to eradicate it as it does it. It's impossible to co completely get rid of it because it seems like the more you pull it out, that little piece of root that's left in the ground will grow even better than it did before. And it spreads. That's how it spreads. When you try to dig it up and you break up those roots, the roots are very fragile. So as you're pulling the roots out, they break up in these little pieces. Each one of those tiny little pieces of root could be like an eighth of an inch long. That piece will sprout, grow roots, and become another vine. It's very hard to get rid of this. They actually have a special spray that you put on the bindweed and it gets into the it becomes systemic inside the plant and it travels down the stem and then it kills the root system because that's ultimately where, this, where, where the problem lies is with the root system. It's not what's growing on the outside, it's what's underground. It, it grows as many roots underground the same way you see these vines spreading along the top of the ground, it will spread these roots the same way underground. You, it, you can't just pull them out and get rid of them. You can, you, you can eradicate it by if you keep pulling the tops off, like pulling these tops off and getting as much as the root out as possible, that will eventually cause it to die. I have done that. You're talking about going in there and pulling the same thing out every time it sprouts, maybe 25 times before it eventually, at the end of the year, it just dies and it doesn't come back. It does happen, but you have to continuously kill the top part of it and, and that will kill it. But they do have a chemical that you spray on it and it gets inside the plant and kills the root system that's really the best way to do it if you see it try to eradicate it dig it up get rid of the soil unless you're going to go through the soil very meticulously and remove every piece of root make sure you get every piece because it will come back and by the time you see the top part again it will already be spread all over the underground where you're going to have the same problem again so by the time you see it coming up here, the underground is like a huge network of roots. And you're not just going to get rid of it easy again. You have to, you have to be very, very proactive with it. All right, so that's just a quick look at the bindweed. I'll let a piece of this go, or there's other parts in the yard. I'll let it go. So it goes to flower. You'll notice that the flower looks very much like morning glory, but it's not morning glory. This is 10 times more invasive than morning glory. A lot of people think it's morning glory. It's not. And they leave it and they think, oh, this is beautiful. It's a very invasive weed. I highly recommend you eradicate it as soon as you locate it on your property. Do your best you can to eradicate it. All right, so that's it. That's your bindweed. See you on the next one.